Hello there, what I will showcase today is the world first double shaft, double armature, same point. Bidirectional DC motor. This is a new type of a DC motor, this picture explain the different parts of the motor. I will focus on several features that only this motor have, which distinguish it from other motors. Before that, here are some data and analysis for the motor. What we see here is shape optimization of the outer core of the motor, mostly known as armature. It's an analysis which describes the mass to stiffness ratio, or more specifically, how much load a model can handle for a given static stress, force, or momentum. And here we can see the curve of the motor, power, efficiency and other data that you may like to look into. The following diagram shows a cross section of the motor. You can see here the inner and outer motor construction. And here is another view for a cross section of the motor. The small clip here you see describes the steps needed to assemble the motor. These steps clarify the inner and outer assembly of the motor. The open design concept of this motor was made in order to achieve the following. To make explaining the new idea easier, thus, it is easier to see the inner and the outer shafts within the motor. Here you can see them move independently from one another, whether it's clockwise or counterclockwise. The motor should be modular and that will enable us to try different configuration and test them however we want. Here is an example where we can use the red 3 pole core with a number of winding to achieve different results as we see fit and then test them. We also could use different designs as you can see here, whether it a core design, a shaft design, or a gear design. Let me talk about one of the main advantages of this motor. A motor like this will be useful in a case where we want for example to move two different gears from the same point in opposite direction, like so. The traditional way will use two motors or complex gearbox to do this. However with this motor we can do it with only one motor and with less complexity. Again, as you can see, each shaft can move freely in any direction. As for the magnetic field, this design supports both ways whether you choose a magnets like I did here, or making a coil to generate the flux that is needed to turn the motor, both are working fine. And here we have some cable management slots and brush assembly. Now for the testing part, have done two configurations here to demonstrate the motor. You can see here the first configuration of the motor, low speed and low torque configuration and it can be used as a symbol for explaining purposes or a declaration on an project showroom area. To eliminate any doubt that you may have, on let's say. How awesome this motor is, I made the second configuration. So that we can see some real performance of this motor. Let us start, I will run the motor and measure the speed of the motor outer shaft. The motor now draws 3.5 amps at 30 V. With speed of 350 RPM, the readings of the temperature is around 37 C. But we can go higher up to 780 RPM. As you can see on the readings I took earlier. Let me show you. Yet before we go to that, I did also small torque test as you can see. And indeed it did have some torque. Now let us see the final run for this video. I hope that you did find this new concept interesting. Stay safe. Peace.